I want to thank you so very much for coming to the studio thank today. Thank you so much. It's good to have you here. See me, I feel so I, excited. I can't already. believe I'm talking to the one and only <laughs> DJ NST. Wow, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that the name is very popular. People know and you've heard, but there are still some people who might not know who you are. Can yeah. you just briefly introduce yourself? Okay, um, well, my name is uh, Ernest Esekili. Mm, that's my biological name. But um, basically known as DJ NST. Now, DJ NST is from NST. Okay? If you catch NST, NST on the regular day, he's this cool, chilled guy, you know, very regular guy. But if you catch DJ NST uh, on an informal day, informal day or whatever, <laughs> he's, you know, spirit filled and ready to go and take on the world. And that's DJ NST, strictly gospel DJ. And, um, I preach the gospel using music as a tool. How did this whole thing start? I mean, this passion, this zeal and commitment to do what you do. How did this start and where are you taking it? <laughs> okay. Well, um, it started first of all with the fact that we are Christians. I, when, I, when I give my life to Christ, I give my life to Christ in, in my university days. You know, I used to be this very up, bumpy party guy, you know, like, Literally, it's always party in my house every weekend. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my grades were going down. At some point, I was like, oosh, I need to, you know, adjust myself, you know, a little bit. So I, I encountered Christ in the process. And, um, well, along the line, I was like, oosh, isn't it too boring? <sighs> Just being a Christian, you know, I missed that would like. Why can't I just you transported? Yeah, so so <laughs> I, 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 yeah, the thing, it, it, it actually came to me like, you know, you can this DJ thing you used to do. Why don't you do it for God? And I'm like, I was asking myself then, like, how can how can you do this? How, how, where where is the connection? connection you <laughs> know, but along the line, you know, God helping me, I. You know, I always see God's face, you know, what, what next, what do I do? And I started, yeah, uh, officially in 2013, yeah, being, came out as a, as a gospel DJ and uh, ever since that's been a journey. And uh, that's where my passion lies, actually, to change the world, to let the world know that, look, Christianity is not boring. It's actually a lifestyle, you mm. know, yeah, lifestyle filled with the world. Even Jesus, was Jesus boring? So if Jesus wasn't boring, <laughs> then Christianity is not boring because I mean Christianity is built on uh, Christ. Yeah, and absolutely. What he stands for. Yeah. How did you get in contact with CBN? How did this relationship start that is burning like fire? <laughs> well, um, I think it was my first interview with uh, was it One, one cube? cube? Yeah, One Cube. That was my first interview. That's, then then uh, I've been hearing about CBN a long time. Like, who doesn't know CBN? Uh, from Superbook to Turning Point Absolutely. to there's a lot, a lot of programs yeah. you know on TV. So uh, I was opportune to be on uh, One Cube and uh, talking about what I do and you know music and all that. Then after that, you know, I, I went back to really like you know you know this exists, but you, I went, went to check out you know mode of operation. What do you guys really do? You know. And I was so excited because, I mean, and a lot of questions were coming to my mind, like, how is this funded, really? A lot of things you're doing, and all you do is ask for partners. Wow. Mm. <laughs> how is this done? So it was really amazing, and I, 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 felt, I felt moved to be part of it, because, I mean, when you see something that's really good, who doesn't want to be part of something good? Something good, and it's something impactful. When you see those smiles on those people's when I watch those videos, you know, reaching out to somebody who is helpless. Yeah. Helpless. I'm using that helpless because, you know, some, these days you reach out to people who you know that can help themselves, but <laughs> you just want to be, you know, but yeah, reaching out to people who are helpless is really rare, you know, mm. in our present generation. And I like, I want to be part of this and that got me interested. And I think I'm right today. Ever since you, you made that decision to partner with CBN, I have seen you do tremendous things, make suggestions, go all out to make things happen. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Last year, sometimes last year, during the Christmas um, holiday, yeah. I saw you pull through a concert within <laughs> three weeks. We had to plan um, a one cubed Christmas party, Christmas party yeah. concert. <laughs> yes. How did you make that happen? You know, like I said, it's passion. When the passion is there, the drive comes. And when the drive is there, you actually, your mind is open, you're thinking, 
you're thinking faster than how you think on a normal day. You try to make things work, try to make things happen because you want to see it happen. You want to see, you want to see that dream. It was a dream for me to see something like that happen. You know, it wasn't more like, oh, I want to have my own event or I wanted to see where Christians can really come together and have fun. Now, Christians on fun has been segregated for a long time. You, you see, when you say Christian, they, they expect you to be very, very calculated, very, you know, but, you know, so that Christmas party was just like uh, something that I wanted to see happen where Christians can actually come and have fun. But was that the only purpose to it? No. And also to uh, reach out as well, okay. definitely, to reach out to people, you know, to also uh, see what CBN is doing and also be part of it as well, you know, and affect lives and society in general. And, you know, the more people we have on board, the more we can do yes, for the kingdom. Absolutely. There are people out there who, of course, they are hearing CBN, the 700 Club, and they really don't know exactly what we do. Would you want to take this moment to tell them and encourage them to come on board? All right. Um, well, I want to take this time out to encourage you watching me right now. Be a partner with the CBN. I want you to make your donations right now because CBN is doing amazing works all around the world. I tell you, you know, you could check them out on social media, on the website, and see what they do. So. I'm a partner as well, and I want you to join me, and let's make the world a better place. Let's spread the love. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's just coming from, you know, from the soul. Yeah. Thank you for being here, thank you. and thank you for blessing us with your presence. Thank you so much.